Good morning, Lisa from Moreno Chicken Farm here. About um, two weeks ago, I wrote an article about things from the house that I brought outside to the chicken coops. And I've got a lot of comments, and especially on um, Pinterest and stuff, people asking me, well, where are all the pictures? Well, that was a lot of pictures. So I'm gonna do this video so you can see all the things, how I use them in my coop. Be forewarned, it's pretty dusty because I haven't spring cleaned yet. Let's get to it. Okay, in the silky coop, we have three of the things I mentioned. This, come on babies. This is a cat house. It's supposed to be a, um, a litter box cover. And the silkies use it for their nest. And I leave it open because this time of year we have so many silkies trying to hatch at the same time. So many broodies that it's just best to do it like that. This is one of those shower... Don't you just love dust? This is one of those shower things. It goes with a tension rod at the top and the bottom. Takes up such a little bit of space I wasn't using anyway. But allows me to keep things organized and at least where I can see them so they're not going everywhere. <sighs> That's a whiteboard from the Dollar Tree. I don't actually like this one. I'll show you the one in the other coop because this one doesn't like to erase really well. I don't know. Maybe it's because it was outside in the winter. But I keep a running total so I know exactly who to count for at night when I'm doing my count and doing lockup. Let's move on to the other coop. All right, so this coop, I talk about things from the Dollar Tree. That, this, um, those came, oh, that one in the corner. Those all came from Dollar Tree. That one hung on my porch um, for a while until the season was over. That's from a thrift store for like two bucks. This is a cat house. Like, it's supposed to be a litter box. You can see, oh, I got the eggs out, but. You can see how dusty it is. That's crazy. But the guineas and the chickens lay their eggs in that. These are lights. I'll have to add a picture right here so you can see. But these are just lights that go outside like garden lights. There's a solar panel over here just hanging out in the window and those will kick on for an hour or so this is just a like a garage or an outdoor light that i have in here so i can see at night this came from a i believe this one came from a restaurant supply and that one came from amazon for just a couple bucks it's supposed to go on a counter but as you can see i use them for shelves and organization um what else we got oh that one came from amazon that's from amazon but i got it somewhere else we got another dollar store one we have another tension rod bathroom organizer and this one actually didn't reach the ceiling so i just zip tied it to the sides and i keep these are the pieces the legs to a brooder um Vitamin E if anybody gets Rhinac or anything like that, etc. So it keeps small things organized. This is that shopping cart I have a picture of. I can't do this one-handed. And I have new bags of shavings. I'll go ahead and throw one in there. That way I can tote it around really easy. These aren't really cheap. You can buy them at um, thrift stores and stuff, though. People take them there when they're done with them. You can pay like five bucks for them. This is a Ikea bookshelf. I used to own a bookstore, but I had so many bookshelves afterwards that over the years, I've ended up repurposing them for other things. So if you have an extra bookshelf at home and or in your home and you know aren't using it and have space in your coop, this cleared out a lot of the mess in my garage because I can store winter and winter and summer I can store the winter bowls. This is an extra heat plate. Those are just boards I use under the chick's feeder and water so they don't get in the um, in the shavings. That's the heat plate, grit, 
safe trap for mice in case we get mice. And um, yeah, I came across an amazing price for chick feed, duckling feed. So I got it for like $5 a bag and I'm storing it till I need it. Signs that I got from who knows where. Oh, and here's the whiteboard that I like. I like this one because it erases super easy. I did buy another one for the other coop and haven't put it in yet. And then you just keep a running total. So it's easy. If anybody goes to do lockup for you, they can just know the numbers. Oh, and that, this thing is, I think it's some kind of feeder. I don't know, but it, I put the um, eggshells in it, grit. But yeah, so that's my stuff that I use inside a coop that's actually for your house. That one came from Amazon. That obviously came from like the John Deere the tractor supply or something. These came from Purina. They had a promotion years ago. And that's my free rooster when I ordered guineas. And she lays eggs, so they made a mistake. Um, so yeah, that's... oh. I forgot this one. This is a hot water tank. Or no, this is a washer base for a washing machine. I also have a round one somewhere and one in the other coop that are for the hot water tanks that I use underneath them to keep the floor dry. We also have stall mats. You can see they're kind of poking out. But if you have chunks of the linoleum left over from doing like the basement floor or something or bathroom. Oh, that's a giant mirror. It's literally only here because I don't know where to put it. Um, I don't need it anymore. But look, she's sitting there looking at herself. She, they, they will sit there and look at themselves all day long. So that's a fun thing. If you have an extra mirror, prop it up where the, or, or well, it should be nailed down. I have it propped between there so it can't fall. But if you can uh, fasten it so they can't knock it down, guineas especially will spend hours looking at themselves. So, storage, excuse my mess. Again, haven't cleaned yet for the season, which is why we've got dust. But, oh, there's the scratch container. It used to have cashews in it. That's from, I have another one here. Pretzel Nuggets has mealworms in it. Um, oh, and that one is a, that was a cat litter box similar to this one over here, except the bottom came in broke and I went to send it back and they're like, just throw it away. So I put it under there and I have a couple chickens that go in there. You would think they wouldn't because it's so low, but I find white eggs in there all the time. I guess from my surprise rooster, she lays, lays white eggs. So, yeah, that's all the different things I put in my coop that you would use in your house. Cute, right?